again, we start getting to the point of what is natural and what isn't. We does like to separate ourselves and there's no real, there's no real, re well, there's not really a huge reason other than the utility of saying this is human stuff and this is like less human stuff, Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, <laughs> this, well, it does bother me that people think that natural and unnatural are two, or natural and man-made are two distinct categories that that like, that are absolutely sort of present in the universe rather than just something we made up because we think we're special. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah, I saw an interesting sorry, we're getting very off topic here, but I saw an interesting um uh talk about this, which was to say that basically the I what the one distinction you could make is that there are certain materials that um are present in nature that other aspects of nature have there is like a there is like an there's a an antidote to them, right? So if you have wood, there are things that can break wood down. If you have um, stone, there are th like there's water that can make it uh, turn into salt mm -hmm. um, or into sand. Um, but there are certain materials we've made, like plastics, which there is no natural process that breaks them down other than over just ludicrous amounts of time. Yet. Yet. Well, but we would make that, right? Mm, yeah, but yet in that I feel like there is there is some potential right for um over an, enough time for some microorganisms to develop the ability to break down plastics absolutely yeah. so i mean that then then what you're doing and this is this is really interesting we will get back to the topic at some point so don't worry but what you're doing is really interesting because you're saying that sort of um well not you but you know um the kind of the kind of uh, thing that's being presented there is ah well the difference is that there are materials that can't be broken down naturally because they've been they, because there's not been enough time for yeah. nature to develop, and the reason that all of these other materials can be broken down naturally is because they've been around forever. Right? Yes, yeah. but also they probably took quite a while to evolve in the first place. Those materials probably Absolutely, there were like yeah. lots of steps to get to that material. Whereas with us, we've sort of taken a bunch of oil out the ground and then we've fractionally distilled it, and then we've got these materials that wouldn't naturally exist. They wouldn't have come about on their own. Um, without a, an invented process that means that they occur quickly and not with like a they don't evolve yeah but then we've i mean absolutely but we've got um then i think we're getting to the point of splitting hairs because then we've got we've got like shells of certain sort of crustaceans for example which are incredibly incredibly strong and can last for quite a long time right but um it's, it's, do you see what i mean the comparison making mm. there of like materials that are very difficult to be broken down the I think the distinction that's being made is again that like they didn't evolve, but to an extent they did it if us. they were if it, if yes. it's through us, right? Yes, I think it, I, I mean I I don't disagree with you. I I understand the reason for making the distinction. I understand the different ways to make the distinction. Mm. All I'm saying is I feel like you then you then have to place a line on what is and it what isn't natural, and at some point it becomes kind of it does get a little bit blurry, like if you zoom in enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't disagree. For no. anyone listening, we don't disagree. No. <laughs> Shall we talk about toads? We absolutely should. Jam disagrees, so don't you, Jam? Well, yes, but I'm not going to address it. <laughs> <laughs> I think everything is unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> Fall into the void, please. <laughs> Anything? No. No, no thank you. No. Non-existence is ideal. Thank you.